Hi guys, so what I'm going to show you now is how to run the ZHRUT report, which is the timesheet report. So I'm in my favorites, um, like you know, uh, I'm just going to click on that report and it opens up this window. Now in this window what you've got is, again, a few variables to running a report, as always with, with SAP. You've got at the top the date that you want to run it from to. Uh, you've got the company code, which is important. You've got the status of the hours, which is important. And then the next really important thing is the personal number down here. Yep. So I'm going to go one by one. So the date, say I'm going to run it for, um, I don't know, I'm going to run it for all of August. So I'm going to go 01.08.2008 to the 24th of August. I'm going to run it until now. Um, company code, I'm going to go LP Australia because I'm going to run it for a few Australian people. Our status, if you actually click in there in the 30 and click on search, you'll see that the hours is 10 is in process, 20 is released for approval, 30 is approved, 40 is approved, rejected, etc. So you can actually search for, you know, cancelled timesheets, uh, uh, rejected timesheets, approved timesheets, etc. If you actually leave that in blank, it's going to bring everything up, approved, non-approved, etc., everything that is in the system. So I'm going to leave that blank. And then I'm going to ignore everything else, and I'm going to come down to personnel number, and I'm actually going to search for a particular person. So I'm going to say, I want... Rebecca Chow, so you click on the personal number search, last name, star, Chow star, and there is Rebecca, so I'm going to double click on it, so it puts the number there, 0000, 000 36, which is a number 36, and I'm going to say include absences, so I'm going to tick in there to say include the absences. I'm going to go up to the little clock up here, and execute it, and it runs the timesheet report for Rebecca for the month of, um, for the month of August, or well, at least what it's been of August. In here you can see a fair bit of stuff, you can see the date, you can see the work center that she belongs to, you can see um, different hours, you can see you know total hours and, and, and variances and the networks that she's put the time against and if you keep scrolling across you'll see the projects she put the time against, you'll see when she's put HR admin or, or, or other time that is not project, uh, you can see her name, you can see who approved it, you can see the status of those hours, you can see Errol approved them, you can see when he approved them, you can see that she's part of the Melbourne office, etc, etc. So this is a quick way to run it. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to show you how to run it for multiple people and I'm also going to show you how to put this into Excel. But this is a quick way of running something, you can then check in here and see what activities she's put it against. You can start seeing some of the activities, contracting, contracting, MS review, etc. And you can see the hours in here in the total hours column.